Hopefully it'll be like the other BCS games. They've been tight and taut and pretty special. Dana Holgerson on the other side as well. We're all set. This has been the Nissan pregame shift. And there's the Mountaineers head coach. First year as a head coach at Jaws said at any level. And he takes his team to the conference championship. Could very well be the last game that West Virginia plays as a member of the Big East. We'll discuss that as the game goes on. West Virginia won the toss to further the option to the second half. So Tyler Bittenkurt ready to kick it. Jerron Brown joins Sammy Watkins, the explosive number two, back for Clemson. And off we go with the 2012 Discover Orange Bowl. They want to keep it out of the hands of Watkins, too. One problem, it goes out of bounds. And our... Author Nate Boyd. Nobody opened it first, and now coming across the middle, but dropping is Jaron Brown. Figures to carry it the most in terms of running backs, and they'll get other people involved, like Tavon Austin. Sweeping from the left to the right for a first down to the 34-yard line. They move with Austin. Smith looks the other side, now pulls it down, had a man open, but couldn't get to it in time. And the pass was incomplete, intended for Devon Brown, because Corico Hawkins. And his dad was my tight end with the Philadelphia Eagles in 1985, John. Boyd out of his own end zone, throws complete. Here's the first connection for a first down tonight. DeAndre Hopkins, new, gets a first half points per game. Boy, Mike, I was impressed with their practices. They are sharp and quick. There's Boyd to the All-American tight end, Dwayne Allen, who was hit high and hard by Darwin Cook for the first. And it brings Sharon Peak, the freshman, in for Clemson. Here's Ellington up the middle, breaking free, one man to beat. Andre Ellington, gonna go the distance, touchdown Tigers. Well, you can see that 4-4 speed of Andre Ellington exploded through the hole. Nobody's gonna catch him. Chandler Catanzaro adds the extra. Got to take your shots at this receiving court. To second down, Smith middle going to be caught. Devon Brown racing to the 30. And tied up there, 32 first down yards. Sean Alston is the back. There goes Tavon Austin who takes it from Smith. Trying to get to the edge. Tavon Austin smelling the goal line, but he slipped and fell. Inside the five, the four, it'll be second and goal. That's all Tavon Austin. Just sudden stopping. Back, powering inside the five, breaking through tackles. Out of the pistol, he's got it. He's got the middle. He's got a touchdown, Mountaineers. That was all stop like. But it's Alston for the West Virginia touchdown. What a great block on the back side. A lot this year. Tyler Benton Kirk knocks home the extra point. So it takes two minutes and 30 ESPN radio station. Looking forward to the championship game. The rematch. Take it to Ellington. Throw it to Watkins on the edge. Got a block from Sharon Peak. And a first down for Sammy Watkins. Again, a Portage board in the Tigers. They need to get to the 41. Boyd out of his hands quick for DeAndre Hopkins. Who holds on, makes the catch, and it's first down for Clemson. What a fan. Back to do a lot from a decision-making standpoint on every down. He's third and ten. Zervin was trying to get in the pass to the sideline, caught by Hopkins, but marked short of the first down. So well, it's fourth one, and one. Once again, Mutt. Take to Watkins, kept by Boyd, fights through the tackle of Jared Barber and gets the Clemson first down. Oh, the lower body. Like Cam used, Newton used to do for Auburn in short yardage. It's down for Boyd, middle shot. Watkins in there. Sammy, touchdown, Tigers. Sammy Watkins just can't stop the... Extra point added by Catanzaro. The supreme talents on display here tonight. Back to Geno Smith. He's looking for the seam. It's open in the middle again. It's Willie Milhouse. He's down to the 22-yard line. That's only a gain of 35. Nobody could. Geno Smith, there is going to be a long night. 
Sneaking a substitution on third and seven, and Smith takes off. Moving around to the left, trying to get to the marker. Geno Smith outrunning Andre Branch, and the spot's going to give it to him at the 12, first and 10, WVU. Second and six, Austin takes it quickly from Smith, seeking the pylon. Austin dives. Touchdown! Tavon Austin just trying to get it in by the pylon. We have to watch a couple of things. Was he out of bounds, and did he have control of the ball? <laughs> like, I'm dehydrating just watching this. Extra point punched through by Bittenkirk. And to Taj Boyd's turn. Complete to midfield on the completion to Jaron Brown. Again, a 50. It's two or three of them per quarter. Second and six. Boyd taking that shot, John, downfield. And a tackle will be the 15-yard pass interference call coming up on Ian Smith. Third and four, Mountaineers bring pressure. Boyd throws over the top, nearly intercepted. Jared Barber coming back on a Montsville North Carolina. From 42, he knocks it through. Field goal's like a letdown. <laughs> Clemson hoping for a three and out. Flushed is Smith. Throws on the run. Held on. What a catch on the sideline by Stedman Bailey. These two. On second and eight, Smith. Downfield comes back to the sideline of J.D. Woods. He's inbounds and he clumps the territory. West Virginia offense hit a little bit of a speed bump towards the end of the season. Looking sharp tonight. And how about that catch? Toe down and good for Devon Brown. Who's that? Force mistakes. They go again. Just flick it forward to Tavon Austin trying to get the edge. He got a nice block to get inside the 15. Austin going toward the goal line is ruled in for the touchdown. That's amazing. That's the third time they've ran the same play. Vision that he might have been out. The first look, you saw green between the toes and the sideline on every step. Austin has his offside by Bruce Irvin. The play keeps going, and they get more than the five as Jaron Brown has it. The 36 yard lock. Real good job by Clemson, knowing the West Virginia makes the completion. We have seen several players slip here in the first half. Boyd, sideline throw, long throw over to DeAndre Hopkins. Nuke making some moves. He's got a first down as he made a cut and slipped to the 47 yard. He lipped off with uh, more difficulty. David Smith replaces him and blocks for Andre Ellington, who's down the sideline. Ellington in a foot race out of bounds back in the red zone at the 14 yard line. So from the three, they bring Watkins back around from the other side. Just give it to Ellington, pounding up the middle. And the ball taken out by West Virginia back the other way. The Mountaineers took it out of his hands. And Darwin Cook is racing for a touchdown. How about that turnaround? Oh, man. Unbelievable. Well, that will certainly one be reviewed, and then Cook, as he ran all the way down, kept going, ran into the wall. He gets up, and he's okay. 99 yards, it's called right now. Let's get a peek. You got a million things there. When does the ball come out? Is he laying on other bodies? Is he crossed the plane? When's the ball ripped out? You see the ball coming out the there. Yeah. The previous play. They score and retake the lead. Instead, Bittencourt adds the extra point. And the Mountaineers seconds. And one of the great getaways of all time by Darwin Cook. 99 yards. Dabo Swinney thought. Tigers are going in for a score. And what in the wide world happened? It kind of was, but he kept being persistent, kept going back, 
and finally learn how to run this offense. Which includes some of this. Boyd on the move. Got a nice block downfield from Sharon Peak. It's the second time that wide receiver's thrown it. First down in time for Boyd in the middle free, and here comes Sammy Watkins, who slips and falls. Footage a little dicey here. The 32. It's But slant on third and four, he's dropped by Hopkins. We credit the coverage of Roger Jenkins, one from 43. Good job getting the snap down. Yeah. And the kick is good. Captain Zara has got the best 40-plus yard field goal percentage. The job they've done. Rich Rodriguez, Coach Stewart, and now Holgerson. Here they are in another big bowl game. And there goes Bowie out of the timeout into Clemson territory. Across midfield to the 47-yard line before Jonathan Willard brings him. He has that senior Thompson 38th on his overall list on ESPN.com. Over the top, it is caught by Devon Brown. Couple shy down there for Clemson trying to communicate the change in the secondary coverage. Smith, will he take off again? There he goes, and he's in. Touchdown, West Virginia. You know, if you go back and look at what happened on that play, Clemson's blitzing. Geno Smith audibles and Clemson audibles on defense. On the pregame with Mark May and Reese Davis, that would be a factor he thought would be important because of the missing elements of Dustin Garrison and Bernard Bruce Irvin of West Virginia. He's been pressed into service with the injury, doing a nice job at left tackle. Did there again, but they threw it to the wrong team. Intercepted by the Mountaineers. Pat Miller, who had a huge interception, the only one of his career, a 52-yarder for touchdown against South Florida in the conference clinching game for W. No Smith pocket collapsing over the middle and walking in his millhouse to the one. Ruled down, knee down as the ball is marked there at the one. So not free, but first and goal. Hurry, I'm going to use this clock. It is Austin. Wow. To the goal line and in. Another Tavon Austin touchdown. And what an incredible half by the Mountaineer offense. How cool is this play again? I mean, you talk about creativity. This is third time, right? <laughs> oh. We haven't had many teams that have scored 42 oh. in an entire Orange Bowl, let alone a half. And it's 42 to record in this, the most points by a half, or by a team and a half, in the 78 Orange Bowls. From behind, Boyd may have lost the ball. It's whistled down, whistled down at the 22. Bruce Irvin was coming from behind to punch it out. Was he ever, Mike? Roll starts to come out right there before he's down. And what's really impressive is where Irvin came from to make this play. He's rushing the passer, he reads out of it, and he runs the quarterback down. After further review, the ball was fumbled prior to the end. The clock should be at one zero. Out of the pistol with Bowie as the back. Here comes Andrew Bowie. Will be first and goal for West Virginia after a sharp third and goal with 10 seconds left. They'll get another playoff with Alston to the left and in. A five touchdown quarter by the Mountaineers. It's amazing they can get 11. College football players lined up that fast and come off the ball with that kind of authority. This is a well-coached offensive football. Offensive football. Five touchdowns in ten minutes. Here comes Austin to the right and Tavon Austin picking up where he left off. And the pounds right near midfield. 23 on the game. Tavon Austin. I've heard who we saw the other night in Tostitos Fiesta Bowl and the loss to Oklahoma State. Middle Smith caught by Devon Brown. He's had a nice game. It's another one. 71 yards for the redshirt senior out of Virginia making his final appearance. Now a shot downfield. 
Hauled in inside the 10 by Stedman Bailey. So the high school teammates. Chance to stay sharp in the bowl break. There they go working it again. Trying to get in. Got it. Bailey a homecoming touchdown for the Mountaineers. They are really working number 17. Breeland three straight times. And the third time's a scoreboard. This graphic is in front of your eyes. He's a great coach. Bruce Servant coming in, getting a sack for West Virginia. Stripped the ball earlier to cause a turnover. And the ball all Big East performed. 14 sacks two years ago, John. Boyd pass to the middle is broken up and incomplete on third and 17. As he tried to get it to Jerron Brown, it is. Third and six, here comes a blitz. Picked up for the moment. And on the run, a toss. And a catch by Bailey at the 45. Wow. Woof. 24, and that was pretty. He doesn't look like Joel Namath to me. Tonight he does. <laughs> and I said he looks like Randall Cutting after that first half. Oh, wow. oh wide oh, open. Wow. Austin, what a move. Tavon Austin. Give him four on the night. Oh. Oh. Just blowing the coverage. A total bust in the secondary by Clemson. That's Tavon Austin has just set the Orange Bowl record for most touchdown receptions. Kobe Fleener did a lot. Tight end Dwayne Allen with the catch at the 40 yard line. Because you have about 19 different here down 43. And he'll pick it up with DeAndre Hopkins for the first down. 20 around June. That's not the timetable you need to schedule a football season. There goes Hopkins again. And DeAndre Hopkins gets to the end zone. Tiger touchdown. That's a good job after the catch. Pat Miller, number six, misses a tackle, then Valley. Gonna go for two. And throw back to Sam Cooper, the red shirt freshman tight end. Who ends up just short as Darwin Cook makes the tackle. No wonder Bailey's been cramping up here in this third quarter. Screen set up to start the fourth with Bowie. And his third down game will come up shy. And West Virginia will kick him work for every inch and see if this three man pass rush can get the boy. The second and ten. Taj is intercepted by Tandy. 13th of his Mountaineer career. In his final game in the WVU blue and gold, Keith Tandy with a pick. Well, the prism of what, what kind of a national impact they would have certainly changes if you end up in the Big 12 compared to the Big East. With Sean Alston with the carry. And he gets to the 35 yard line. It's history, though. Many great memories and great moments. Decades. Stedman Bailey the catch. Out of an arm tackle and a first down at the 22 yard line as we're under 10 minutes. Who's your stock to pick up? Some good things happening at this level. Here's your play, John. Willie Milhouse on the flip and into the record books. West Virginia, the highest scoring bowl game in history. Uh, is that a touchdown pass? <laughs> yeah, that's a touchdown pass, John. This play may go to the Hall of Fame after this game. This thing has worked all night long against this Clemson defense. Clemson's bowl experience. And Geno Smith has set a new BCS record, and we say this with a, a smile. Farming out in South Carolina. Farming? Yep. Yep. Yeah, very cool. Big farm. He's now taking off. He'll come down to five. Right near that first down, 122 to go. Julian Miller. Goal run for McDowell for the corner. And that takes us over 100 points in the game here tonight. Did you say over 100 points, Mike? Yes. Wow. Plays with Clemson 74. Boy, these teams just pile up the yards with offensive plays. Yeah, 161 points, over 1,000 yards. He couldn't script it any better. 
Last snap in the books. And if it is the Mountaineers' farewell to the Big East, they do it with a bang. And Dana Holgerson's very unique route to his first ever season as a head coach ends on a very high platform. A full record 70 points scored by the Mountaineers on a night where the team and a lot of the individuals rewrite the record books of one of the oldest and most tradition rich bowls in the sport.